good afternoon all fear fear is often a huge part of our childhood for some of us it was roaring storms even alone in darkness or even monsters under bed these fears we always outgrow but there are some others the more real ones as for me the first time i encountered such a fear when i was only 5 that was the business failure and further debts made by my father we had to shut down our photo studio in rasal kema and we returned to our hometown in kerala the days followed i felt like a nightmare being thrown out of our father's house one midnight watching my mother walking out of the gate holding my 3 months old brother even though we were given shelter at our mother's house we were a burden to them all the same even when my father restarted his business it ended up into huge debts again i still remember those days when lenders came to our home house and they started demanding their sum their loud voices and harsh tones became a daily routine the people around were in much different for all they cared we were unfortunate a lot and they started bullying on us as a school going kid I used to hate staying at home. School was an escape from from my unpleasant moments in life at home. So even my friends at school was a huge support for me. I tried my best to participate and get involved into each and every non-academic and ac- academic activities possible at school. All these were the ways of running away from everything that was hurting me. As years passed by, I grew inconsistent because of all these unpleasant incidents that was haunting me. Slowly, my self-respect went down. Even my professional life was unsteady. First, becoming a software engineer, and then from there, resigning from there to become a college lecturer, and then switching to a researcher, and so on. So, finally, I went to a mentally depressed state. even though i loved building social connections and maintaining good relationships i found myself hiding from everyone isolating from all social media groups even from my phone for almost one long year from the it was my dear students who pushed me up who motivated me up to take a huge step usually we see teachers influencing students all around both academically or otherwise but here it was the other way around here it was my students who gave me strength to do something to create something which i really loved to do with a social commitment for the betterment of the students all over so for that fi- finally i chose my path that was entrepreneurship so i just there was a revelation i just want to mention here what i was afraid in my childhood is now my destiny so i had to overcome all those inconsistencies in my life becoming determined and confident to overthrow all the challenges of entrepreneurship because i had that inherent set of skills needed for an entrepreneur and i explored this through lifelong experiences as a teacher as a student as a parent i have had chances to interact with many parents and students personally finally i realized one thing the root cause of one's mental dissatisfaction lies in the lack of proper guidance and support given to them starting from their childhood in order to give proper intervention we need a strong evaluation system starting from their childhood i mean their school education even the existing evaluation pattern just follows the student's academic performance that is a huge flaw in our system there is no effort taking place to identify the right skill set of the students without which they en- end up choosing the wrong career path and i knew this for sure because this was a story of many including myself so after much thought i just re- realized if it is possible to identify the non academic skill set of the students and i wondered if it is possible 
to create a 360 degree assessment of the skill set of the students with the help of psychology artificial intelligence and technology and the my dear friends the birth of my startup of course it was a turning point in my life but apart from that it has a huge significance in our society we solely we often tend to assess the students solely based on their academic grades but is that all enough are few academic grades enough to determine the worth of a children who are born with diverse abilities and skill sets the answer is obvious it is certainly not enough rather it is high time for us to give to start giving due importance to all those activities beyond the academic curriculum just think of this example if you are trying to figure out the so called smart kid we are stuck with an image of a nerdy looking boy just stuck with his nose stuck in a book or a little girl holding her good graded paper proudly of course these images are the results of long installed standards that intelligence equals bright brightness bright student of course this intelligence may be a hallmark of bright student but we should consider the fact that there are also students whose brightness lies elsewhere the diverse interests of the students is something which needs to be nurtured right from their childhood in the general education i mean indian education system more importance is given in mugging up the textbooks line by line but the foreign countries most of these foreign countries they give more preference in identifying and encouraging the students diverse interests and skill sets these extra curricular activities they provide an atmosphere so that the kids can grow physically mentally and socially also these activities they play significant role in shaping the kids future it is a common knowledge that universities prefer those students who has wide who promise wide varieties of activity experiences rather than study merits even during the job hunt it is preferable to have more on your cv rather than this academic achievements they consider this as a sign of competency in professional life it doesn't end there either after long years of struggles and hard work the people still lack a feeling of accomplishment mainly because they are not at all satisfied in their jobs the root cause behind this is this holistic evaluation Oh, that is skill set evaluation happening in the school as i mentioned before this predicament was more evident during the recent pandemic where the unemployment rate was at its peak the people who were well aware of their diverse abilities they just managed to make a living out of it but the others they lost their foothold in one domain they trained in so the one with fast legs the one with soulful voice the one who could paint magic on canvases the one who could breathe life into stories each one of them are vital for a better tomorrow so it is the right and duty of a student to study but what to study is their choice so it is a collective responsibility of us to give immense guidance and support to the students to choose their careers they could excel in let them know their choice choices so that they can choose them well even if they fail at any one of them they still have others at their disposal so let us build a versatile generation where we can see the doctors who are also photographers the engineers who are also poets or even dancers who are also well trained in cooking and so on so next time when we hear a student says he want to be picasso then make sure there are paint brushes on their pen stand Thank you.